of you here how to measure voltage and current in a circuit. Over here I have a very simple circuit that is connected. My chargers are going down, they're passing through the first resistance, through the second resistance, and then back home. Okay? If I want to measure voltage, you simply go with the positive and negative terminal of the multimeter, and you simply go in parallel. That means you go before and after the device you want to measure whether it can be a resistance, an engine, a buzzer, a diode, whatever. And you're basically going to simply touch the conducting legs and you're going to get a reading of voltage. Okay? As simple as that. So you can move along a circuit and measure the voltage drop across uh, loads. Now, current is a little bit trickier, especially on the breadboard. If I want to measure current or how many charges are passing through this simple circuit at any given time, I need to be connected in series. So these terminals must be connected in series. And the way to do that, let's say I want to measure the current passing through this resistance. Well, I need to disconnect the resistance either from the beginning or at the end. Okay. I'm going to add a small wire and then right now the circuit's disconnected. But if I do that, if I connect it like this, the circuit's connected again. Now, with the multimeter in the proper setting, because you want to measure amperes, the charges will now be going down here through the resistance. And now, look at this. You're going to touch. It means the charges are passing through the red wire and then through the multimeter, which can count how many charges are passing at any given second. And then... And by doing this, I am reconnecting the circuit, but the multimeter isn't connected now in series. And that is how you measure current. The multimeter must be connected in series, so you need to disconnect uh, a load and a wire and bridge them using the multimeter.